What's going on guys, Imaginary World here, and today I just wanted to show you guys how to do your hi-hats the best possible way inside of Ableton Live. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so I got a blank MIDI track with my hi-hat pattern. I'm gonna go ahead and load up Sampler, and we're just gonna go ahead and drop in a hi-hat sample. So right off the bat, this is what it sounds like. Not bad, basic hi-hat, and if you wanted, you could be done there, but I'm gonna show you how to go above and beyond a little bit. So here's what we're gonna do. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to this interpolation mode right here, and we're gonna set this to best. My recommendation for this setting right here is that you create a blank sampler and save it as your default with this set to best. What this is gonna do is it's gonna make it so that when you play notes lower down on the keyboard, they're gonna be at the highest quality. So with that set, we're actually done with this page and we're gonna go over to the filter slash global. I would recommend turning off the filter and turning up the release. Now you can really put this pretty much anywhere above like a second and it'll play your full sample, but pretty much the whole point of doing this is that when you press a key on the keyboard, it's gonna play the entire sample. The reason I wanna be able to do this is because I wanna be able to draw in 30 second notes on my piano roll and have it play the entire sample. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn up this volume velocity up to 50%. And let me show you the difference. So I've drawn in some velocity on my hi-hat here, and we'll go ahead and just show before and after. Velocity is really one of those things that'll take your hi-hat patterns to the next level. So I'd really recommend experimenting with this. I think 50% is a good level to leave it at and then experiment with velocity inside of your MIDI clip. Next thing we're gonna put in the chain here is an EQ8. All we're gonna do with this is we're gonna low cut and we're just gonna cut all these lows out. You can, you can low cut pretty high up here. Let me show you the before and after. It doesn't change the sound of the hi-hat at all, but we're getting rid of some information that might have been clashing down there. The last thing I'll typically do to my hi-hats is I'll come over down to this D, and if you select that, you can actually move them forward. So we're just gonna go maybe like 16 milliseconds forward, so it's sitting in more of a pocket. And this is a technique used commonly by a ton of top producers, so I would definitely mess around with this track delay here. Once you're happy with the settings that you've created, select all of the devices on your track and do Command or Control G to group them. This is gonna create an instrument group, and what we can do is we can save this as a preset. So I can just do hi-hat preset, and anytime I wanna pull it up, I have it right here where I can just load it just by double clicking it. All right, so that's gonna do it for leveling up your hi-hat game and increasing your workflow overall. If you guys have any questions about anything stated in this video, go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one.